Alright, what's up guys? Simon from BrainBiz.com. In the last video, I showed you my YouTube counter and I got a couple of questions on how exactly I went about to create the animation on the Nexteon screen. So today I'm going to do a quick video and show you exactly how I did that. So let's start. I have the Nexteon editor opened. I'm using version 0.58. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project name it something let's just replace this one and now i have to choose the nexion display i was using it's a basic and the number was this one you can actually find these numbers uh, on the box when you receive your nexion screen as you can see here so the one i was using was this one and then click on display and choose horizontal as my orientation and click OK. All right, so there we go. We have a new project. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import the pictures. And here's the pictures that I have. I have five frames. Uh, make sure that your pictures are the same resolution as the next on screen. In this case, it's 320 by 240. So I'm gonna choose them all and open. And there we go. And we can see them here. Now pay attention to the ID of each picture. Like the first picture here is ID 0, 1, up to 4. We're gonna need that information when we start doing the animation. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a picture. There we go. And I'm going to go to the right side, click on pick browse, and I'm going to choose ID zero, which will be our first frame. So okay on that. Now to do the animation, we need two more things. We need a timer and a variable. So on the left side, you can see timer and variable here. We're going to add one of each. So just by clicking once timer and there it is here and a variable right there. So the way this works, the timer in milliseconds will count down and then update the value of the variable which contains the ID of the picture. So the first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that the variable is equal to the first frame, as you can see here, ID zero. So that's fine. That's what we need. Next, in the timer, we're going to enter some code here. So let me just paste the code real quick and we can take a look at it. So the first line, timer zero dot en stands for enable equals one, meaning we're enabling the timer itself. Then the timer dot tim is equal to 150. That means 150 millisecond and it will reset after that. Then p0 dot pick, which is the ID of the picture, is equal to the variable value, which we set to zero right here. Then the value of the variable is increased plus one. And we check if the variable doesn't go over four because we have up to ID four in the picture. So if it goes to five, then the value resets to zero and so on and so on. And that's how the animation is done. So if I do debug, we can see the animation in action. And there we go. So every 150 millisecond, the variable itself increases by one, which changes the ID of the picture and so on and so on. So that's how the animations are done. Let me close that. So if you wanted to add another page, you go to the page here and we click on the add. And then on this second page, we could do another animation here. So let me do one real quick so we can see how to change between pages. All right, so there we go. I created another page and imported different pictures as you can see here. It goes from ID five now to ID 10. Now I did the same thing, put a picture P0, set it to picture number five, and then I added the timer and the variable as before except now the variable value is set to five because my first picture ID is five, as you can see here. And the timer code, a little bit different, but pretty much the same. The, all these lines at the beginning, the enable, the timer value, the picture value, and the plus one of the variable, this is all the same, except now in the if statement, if the variable goes over 10, before it was over four, 10 because my last picture is 10, then I set the value to five, I mean, like this. Now, if I go back to page zero and I check the timer before it was four and zero. Now in page one, it's 10 and five because my ID goes from five to 10. Now we can test that again by clicking debug. So there we go, it's still the first page. If I wanna go to the second page, which is page one, all I have to do is input here, page space one, and there we go. Now we see the code for page one. And if I wanna go back, I can just type page zero, enter, and there we go, we see the animation. Now, one quick note, I don't know if you noticed, but on page zero and page one, I have the same name for the TM zero and VA zero, which is timer zero and variable. And on page zero, I have the same thing. It doesn't really matter because these are not global. So on different pages, they can have the same name. And in the code here, when you refer to them, it's on this page. It will not look at variables or timer on a different page. Now, if you want to do the change page inside of Arduino code, it's very easy. If you're using the Nexteon library, the command to use is page1.show 
like so here. And if you want to show page zero, you enter this command. And that's how I did it in the YouTube counter. So there you go, guys. That will do it for today. Hopefully that helps uh, some of you to create how to create animation on an XT on screen. Uh, keep in mind, there's not a ton of memory on these, but for simple animations like this, it works very well. So that'll do it for this one. Like I always say, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.